lady from Anka. International Affair. Milady. Hi, today I want to take a look at how to create a YouTube brand account and then to delete the YouTube channel part of it so that I can then use that particular empty brand account to move an existing YouTube channel to. Why would I want to do that? Well, let's have a look at my particular situation. So I'm signed into one of my test accounts and I'm going to click on the top right hand side and I'm going to go to your channel. And here I am at my YouTube channel. It's called Griselda from Uncle. And the reason it's called that is because this particular YouTube channel is close linked to my Google account. And my Google account obviously has my first and my last name. My first name Griselda, my last name from Uncle. If I want my YouTube channel to have a different name from my Google account, I have to move this particular YouTube channel off my Google account with my name and onto a brand account. A brand account is a sort of a sub account that can have any kind of name. So for that, the best thing to do is to create a YouTube brand account and then to delete the YouTube channel. So to start, I'm going to be signed into the Google account that my YouTube channel is close linked to. And I'm going to click on the top right hand side and I'm going to go to settings. And on settings, I'm going to add or manage your channels. And instead of using any one of these, I'm going to click on create a new channel. And because my Google account already has a YouTube channel close link to it, and it can only ever have one at a time, the new YouTube channel that I'm about to create must come with a brand account. So I'm going to call it something like redundant channel brand account because as far as I'm concerned the channel part is redundant and I'm going to click create. When you're doing this you may be asked to verify the creation so if, if that's the case certainly enter the code that you will receive. And now that I have created the YouTube brand account called Redundant Channel Brand Account, I can click at the top right hand side and I can again go to settings. And this time I'm going to go to the bottom here where it says advanced settings, bottom left. And I am going to click on delete channel. Now Note that it says deleting your YouTube channel won't close your Google account. It also won't close your brand account. So I'm going to proceed with that. I'm going to be asked to verify um, that I have the authority to do this by entering my password. And I then have the option at myaccount.google.com to either hide the YouTube channel or to permanently delete it. I'm going to permanently delete it. And I'm going to tick that I accept that all of this is happening and I'm going to go ahead with delete my content. Now, the, the reason I'm being asked to confirm the name of my YouTube channel is because um, it is, it's a, it's a big thing. The, the deletion of a YouTube channel is permanent and there is no way that I can reverse this. So by confirming that I know exactly which YouTube channel I am deleting, I'm ensuring that I don't accidentally delete the wrong one. So delete my content. And now I'm being told that my YouTube channel is being deleted. Let's go back to YouTube. If I now go to my YouTube channel, I will see that it's still called Griselda from Uncle. My YouTube channel is still there. Let's click on the top right hand side again. Again, go to settings. And again, go to advanced settings. And now cl click on move channel to a brand account. So I'm now in entering into the second phase. I'm moving my YouTube channel called Griselda from Uncle because it's close linked to my Google account itself. 
and here is the Google account with my first and last name and I'm going to now move it to a brand account. Now I can opt to move it to any one of these that I've got listed here. The only problem with that is that if I choose Mickey Mouse Magic Random Customize URL or Uncle HQ, I will actually be deleting the YouTube channels already on these. So I'm going to select this one here that I have literally just deleted the YouTube channel part of. So click on that and you can see that it will be renamed from Griselda from Uncle because it's close linked to my Google account itself called Griselda from Uncle to being called Redundant Channel Brand Account because it'll be close linked with the connected brand account Redundant Channel Brand Account. I can then change my selection if I should change my mind. I can cancel the action as well or I can proceed with this and click on Move Channel. Am I sure that I wish to proceed? Because my channel name and icon will be updated across YouTube. Now, mistakenly, it's actually showing me the, the, the old avatar or the original avatar, but that won't be the case. And another thing, the channel URL won't change. Now, with a channel URL, that's actually quite, uh, quite specifically the unique channel URL that's automatically created. This is not the custom URL. So I'm going to proceed with that and move YouTube channel. And OK. So if I now click on the top right hand side, you will see that it says create a channel. Why does it say that? Because Griselda from Uncle no longer has a YouTube channel closely linked to it. So if I were to want to use my Google account with a YouTube channel, I would have to first create one or I can go to switch account. So clicking on switch account, I can now select my YouTube channel, which is linked to a brand account and I can go to this particular YouTube brand account. Now the URL, the channel URL has not changed, but the name has because I have linked it to a brand account called Redundant Channel Brand Account. So that is how you create a YouTube brand account, delete the YouTube channel part of it, and then move your YouTube channel off your Google account and onto the empty brand account. Thank you for listening and goodbye.